Okay, so I'm going to be making the case that GPT-3 doesn't reason. Um, so here's a paper, climbs, climbing towards NLU on meaning, form, and understanding in the age of data. So they, these first couple paragraphs, you can read those on your own time, but they're pointing out just simple tricks you can do to show how brittle these models are. Um, and then they, here's you know, their, their summary here. In this brief overview of Bertology papers, we've highlighted both the extent to which there is evidence that large language models can learn aspects of linguistic formal structure, so that's the form part, right? And how their apparent ability to reason is sometimes a mirage built on leveraging artifacts, specifically statistical artifacts, in the training data, i.e. form, not meaning. And adversarial NLI, which came out around the same time, um, you know, makes the same claim. A growing body of evidence show that the state-of-the-art models learns to exploit spurious statistical patterns in data sets. And they've got a whole bunch of things listed here. Um, and they do this instead of learning meaning in the flexible and generalizable way that humans do. And you can see here, when you do a, make an ANLI uh, data set for a specific uh, model, the majority of the time these statistically driven NLP models are tripped up on reasoning, knowledge, and facts. So they, they're not good at this. Um, and, you know, the burden of proof is on whoever is saying that GPT-3 can reason, and the authors who made it aren't even making that claim. You can see here in Common Sense Reasoning, they didn't do that good, right? They didn't even do state-of-the-art, which, um, you know, they're very similar to the state-of-the-art, but they got um, way, 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 way more compute and data. I would almost expect state-of-the-art, so that's kind of embarrassing. Um, and you can see here on that ANLI data set that we were just introducing last time, um, you know, even with super compute and super data sets, they didn't even meet, reach fine-tuned um, Roberta or BERT models uh, performance, let alone the state of the art, and humans are going to be way up here, maybe even off the screen. And I would like to ask, you know, where's the reasoning in this? Um, when uh, these NABLA doctors and AI practitioners set up a medical bot uh, with GBT3 and it tells somebody who's suicidal to kill themselves. There is no deductive, abductive, um, inductive reasoning done here by GBT3 and it's figured out that life is meaningless and instead it's it's wrong and it's it's brittle and it shouldn't be used for medical advice or anything critical like that. Um, and just like all these statistically driven NLP models, uh, artificial neural networks we're seeing today, they're plagued by this bias, you know. I would make the case if they're reasoning, right, they've seen more <laughs> text and documents than I'll see in my lifetime, why can't they reason that naughty and suck shouldn't be near women and terrorism shouldn't be near Islam and the same with atheism, cool and correct? Um, that's because it's not reasoning. And Gary Marcus makes this point really well. He's on some podcasts. I'll have links to these um, and his paper that these texts are also from in the description of the YouTube video. But let's just look here at the end. To put it in a slogan, it, he's talking about GPT-2, but he would say, and I agree, that this applies to GPT-3 as well, it is a model of word usage, not a model of ideas, with the former being used as an approximation to the latter. Um, he points out some people in the 90s knew that just with bigger compute, you'd get grammaticality, you'd get form, and that's not surprising, and that there are people still holding their breath for a long time for emergent reasoning. Um, I wouldn't hold my breath. It sounds like a moving the goalpost fallacy. And another little fun quip, uh, somebody won the France, uh, or French Scrabble tournament without understanding French. I and uh, Gary think that GPT-3 is doing something very similar.